Okay guys, so I'm going to do um, a video here on what is called fin splitting. It's an old school technique. It's made to help shape fins, usually in flower horns and comfas. It's made one to help shape fins. Um, so like a compa, you don't want their trailers to go out so people actually shape them in. Um, but a big thing is it helps um, strengthen the tail and make the tail wider. <clears throat> so what I got here, um, some of you may not like this, some of you will just have to get over it. Um, it doesn't really actually hurt the fish um, if you do it this way. So I got a little bit of water in the pan. I got a towel. Um, Joe Tester, he, he showed me this specific one. I've watched videos before, but he showed me how to do it this way. Got a wet towel over here, over his face, and it keeps him very calm if you notice that. You take a clean razor blade or a needle, and you get to the webbing in between the bones. So the fin has bones right here, and you want to do the wedding, webbing. And you want to just go about a quarter inch. Don't worry, they don't feel this at all. And you're literally just splitting apart the webbing. This allows when it to start healing, um, in st um, heals again, to strengthen and even widen the tail so it can add more tissue um, to it. This, they usually heal in like, man, sometimes even just a few days, but usually less than a week, they're fully healed again. So, I'm just going to do a few of these back here. Um, it's already nice and wide. But you see, there's the tail. Very nicely done. Just some of these as well. I didn't actually clip off anything. What they will do if you're trying to shape the fins, they would actually cut in. So they'd cut the bones and stuff in the fins and the cartilage and they would cut it in to encourage it to grow and wrap in. I'm not going to do that. This is a super red Texas and I want him to have the long flowy fins. This just helps his uh, tail. You see it can already spread a little more and then heal back that way. So hope this video was helpful. The old school style. Um, fin splitting, you see once I take it off, he starts moving again, but it works really well. I'm going to put him back in the tank, and I'll show a video of him in the tank. Here he is in the tank, all better, no, uh, no harm to him at all. You can see his tail is, uh, is split right there, and a little bit of the fins, um, no cartilage, no pain, no, you know, hurt or really taxation on the fish other than taking them out. My hands are wet when I pull them out. It doesn't mess with the slime coat at all. Um, very little bit of stress on the fish and then he'll be good to go. So there you go. A lot of times people do this to groom fish for competition. Um, I usually only do it once or twice. The fish usually don't need that and usually when they're smaller and growing do I do that. I just wanted to show you this fish. It's the first time I've done it to him. Um, and here he is, ultra and the ultra red. You see he's real red. Um, the orange on his face even gets red too when he's happy. Um, he gets all solid red. But, hey buddy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.